Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your February reads. What is going on, my fellow lions? It's been a minute, so I want to apologize to you guys. I have been MIA lately. I cut my thumb being a domestic goddess. I'm just kidding. I was washing dishes, and um, one of my coffee mugs broke off into my thumb, which is really hard to shuffle when you have a big slit in your finger. It took like 30 minutes for the blood to stop coming. However... I made it through, I survived. <laughs> and here we are in February. So these should be posted hopefully by tomorrow. It is Saturday uh, the 4th, I think. So anyways, with that being said, welcome back family. Big, big hugs, lots of loves. Let me just tossle your mane a little bit. And for all you new people, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please join our family if you like what you hear. All right, we are going to be focusing on the general energy surrounding Leo, sun, moon, or rising. You can watch whatever sign you want to watch. You can watch your friends, whoever. Just watch them all if you want to. All right, with that being said, I have a special treat. I got a new deck from um, Sacred Sites Oracle Cards, and I absolutely love them. And so I'm using them to kind of describe why we're in the situations that we're in now in the past, present, and possible future tense. All right. With that being said, I want to go ahead and focus on our power animal, which is nothing else but the cardinal. And he is looking so cute and spiffy. I love this picture. I just love his little angry little face. He's so cute. Okay. So it's telling you to listen to your intuition. And also, whenever I see the cardinals, this is like a message from my spirit guides. When I need to deliver a message to somebody, I ask for a a sign. I usually see the cardinal or the blue jay. Okay, so this is like to manifest your intentions. Clearly manifest what you want. This is not to be thinking about thoughts of like, oh, I don't want this. No, you need to think about what it is you do want. You are the number one priority this month, Leo. Hey, <laughs> like we don't like to hear that, okay? We're also very sensitive. Um, new challenges are coming your way and you're starting new things. Uh, this is about hope and pride and energy and renewal, making things happen, commanding attention. This is you like, hey, look at me, balancing your male and female energies. And also, these are the birds, they don't migrate. So you can handle the coldest of situations, my friend. Look at you with all your hotness. Um, this is also telling you your pride may have been hurt at one time, but this is also a messenger for relationships. I found this quite interesting. Um... Cardinals mate for life. They're all about monogamy. So when you see a cardinal, it's reminding you to be monogamous or letting you know that someone may not be monogamous at times, depending on what kind of message that you're trying to pick up from the universe. However, these birds mate for life, all right? And they withstand the coldest of situations. So with that being said, let's look at the spirit guide that's walking with you, and that is going to be the Dancer of Promise. And it's going to say, look for opportunity in everything, baby. You are the magician. You got everything you need. You got that bag of tricks, and you're going to make it happen, boo-boo. Promise gives us something to look forward to. It's like the hope. It's like the darkness is dead, okay? The Dancer of Promise makes a vow to us to shine the light of opportunities that lie on our path. So looking forward to things, being determined, the gift of opportunity, looking into the future, potentials, and um, also dreaming, okay? So that's all what this card has for you. And, and, and for me, I feel like it's like they're going towards the light. They're like moving towards their center. And if you see, this is something I'm picking up real quick. Solar plexus energy right here with the yellow. Solar plexus, solar plexus. So guys, we're going to be walking with confidence this month. The choices that you're going to have to make and the decisions that you make, whether it's being in a monogamous relationship, starting a relationship, or standing into your own leadership skills, it's going to be about drawing from that solar plexus energy. So with that being said, how will we work with it? We're going to be burning it down with the spirit of fire. And I have that... Um, Sean Paul song in my head. I don't even know. I'm not even going to try to sing it because I don't even know the words to it. However, like Sean Paul is running through my head right now. So this is about transformation, taking risk, facing your fears. And this is the part that I think for me, it hits really home, breaking out of the old patterns and conventions. Uh, just because you did some things in the past doesn't mean that you got to keep doing them. Try something new, change your routines and habits. Okay. This is about new beginnings. And I think that's like the second time I've said new beginnings. Now, Elders also fell out with this card, and this is about confidence, entering in your power, standing strong. You are a leader. Make a stand in life and carry your wisdom. You're a teacher and a leader in the deepest sense of the word, and you are here to protect, and you're also here to lead others, okay? So, also it says something about dreams. Hold on. 
The greatest leaders are those who know how to serve, supporting others to reach their dreams. Even if you've been in the background in the past, right now it's your turn to step forward and become the light for others. So basically this is what's coming out for you for the month of February. It sounds like a lot of look at me kind of energy. So with that being said, we're going to focus on um, our five card spread, looking at the past, the present, hidden, advice, and a possible outcome using the Babylonian Tarot by Sandra Tabitha Cicero. So if you have any questions about what decks I'm using and where I'm getting this information from, it's all in the description box, okay? Because I really like these cards. I think they're quite interesting. Of course, these aren't like Oracle cards or anything. They're my, they're my baby Einstein cards. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, with that being said, let me fix this camera one more time. I'm knocking everything out. Let's bless our deck. So let's still bless this deck for Leo's for the month of February. And I'm thinking that is it. It does not want to go. All right, I'm going to move all of this bad, bad boys over. And we're starting off in the past with the three of arrows reversed. All right. That's not exciting. In the present, we are the queen. This is us, baby. All day, every day, looking super sexy. I love the queen of wands. Probably because that's, you know, it represents me too. I'm a little egotistical, guys. I get excited when I read for Leos. And yes, I, um, I have a special love for them because my daughter is a Leo also. All right. Now, the hidden influence is the emperor. Oh, oh. I keep moving the camera, guys. I'm too excited. There's a lot of fiery energy coming on right here. <laughs> the advice is the Six of Cups reversed. The possible outcome is the Four of Wands reversed. And the overall energy is the Two of Disc. And I'm, I feel like this King has something for us right here. King of Disc, Earth-like energy is trying to come on in. All righty. So let's look at the situation that we got going on at hand. So we have the three of arrows reversed in the past. And for me, this is like, ah, oh, the inability to get over something. And that's like the breaking of the patterns, breaking of the, um, the hell is going on with me today, guys? Sorry. Um, why does this thing keep moving? Okay, sorry, my camera's like all over the place. Anyways, oh, it's because I'm moving it. Sorry. There we go. <laughs> I was like, why does it keep moving? Anyways, the three of arrows reversed is almost like the inability to heal. And it's like the, you want those things to fall out. You want to believe that things can get better. But it's just like, damn, can they get better? But that was in the past. And see, we've had the spirit of fire come through and it's burning the shit down. It's making sure that those patterns and ways of being, they're going to change and they're going to they're going to go away. And change doesn't happen overnight. OK, it takes time. It's a process. However, at the present moment, we are in our element as the queen of wands, whether we are male or female. This is us um, being in command. And I always think of little Boosie, um, I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. Do you know what I mean? Yes, this is the most independent queen of the deck. She can hold it down. She can fry the bacon. She going to make the bacon. She is the damn bacon, okay? Because she's hot fire. And the thing about Aya is that she's a good mother. She's a hard worker and she can hold it down. And that is what you're doing at the present moment, Leo. You're holding it down. However, you have this emperor around you, possibly an Aries, trying to come on in and bust up some stuff. He might be acting like a buster. He is upright, so it does look like he's trying. However, that's the hidden influence that's causing a little bit of disruption. Um, and it almost feels like he's attacking the queen because it's like she's like totally looking past him and he's like coming towards her. So either this is a person in your life that's kind of like conflicting with you, two fire signs possibly, or this is like the energy that you need to harness in order to get over this three of arrows right here. Now, the advice is the six of cups reversed. I kind of feel for some, if you are involved with the, with a certain Huh, Aryan type of um, <laughs> energy and you're not feeling it, it might be a relationship that's overly nostalgic. You might be tied together because you have a past or you have children or something that keeps you together, but it's just not the right situation. Um, don't be surprised if you are offered something you do not want from this person because I don't see any celebration going on over here. 
okay? So I kind of feel like Leos are kind of going through a certain kind of enmeshment that you have with somebody, and you're kind of having to change the way that you the way that you see things. And I, I love the way Aya is like not even recognizing, like she ain't even paying him any mind, all of that fiery energy, and she's looking straight past it because she knows what she wants. So this is Leo, this is you deciding what it is that you want in life in order to be successful or to be happy because the Six of Cups reverse for me, that's not the kind of relationship I would want because this is like, um, soul ties to something but it's um the wrong way it's not the right way okay and then with seeing the four of wands reverse it's almost like you wanted to establish something with this person in the past but now you're just like nah i think i'll pass the overall energy i'm telling you earth-like energy is coming in for you and it's trying to help you balance yourself the two of disc is all about is it okay? Can we play kind of energy? So you have somebody watching you, all righty? It doesn't mean that you're interested in them. It doesn't mean that Leos are out there cheating because Leos usually get a lot of attention. And that's what the Cardinal says. Even when you're not trying to get attention, you do. And a lot of times people think it is you being arrogant, but it's not. It's just you have a certain presence. You, you That's just who you are, okay? Now, this king is trying to come in and he wants to bring balance to your life. And I feel like what this king is trying to do is um, help you to see that you don't have to do it alone. That's what I kind of feel because when I see it like this, like I have it like this, and it's like you two coming together. Okay, so for, for Leos, I feel like you do have some Earth-like energy coming in for you that's going to help you balance, all right? Possibly that's the monogamous relationship that's coming for you. Don't be surprised if some outside force, when you see that emperor, he's trying to invade, divide, and conquer. If the queen could talk, what would Aya say? I don't want us to know the hangman all right so this is a situation guys for me like the hangman doesn't always mean like suspended in air or anything like that I really get this vibe like damn I don't know what to do what do I choose what what do I go with do I go with what I already know or do I go with what's going to bring me balance and give me security and you see this is the Capricorn God right here and he is kind of being held up also the thing is I told you an earth sign is coming in the earth sign is who the queen looks like the queen is going to pick the earth sign okay and the reason why I feel that she's going to pick it is because it's more grounded than this extra fiery energy that's going on over here so I feel like the fire's coming in, but she wants to be more grounded. Now, I want to see what the emperor has for us, because this is the hidden influence. Show me the energy. All right, well, that is air-like energy. It's somebody who is very judgmental, somebody who's who's trying to act like they are the emperor but in all actuality they're just come they're just trying to be a buster i should have just stayed with it they're just trying to be a buster all right trying to bust up in the mix and make things a certain way this could be your boss this could be your husband this could be your lover it could be whoever it could be your damn neighbor but they're not really a very nice person is what's going on and it's almost like you're tied to them and you don't want to be tied to them so for some this could possibly mean a divorce okay now I will clarify, I think I'm pretty good, I guess I'll clarify, mm, let's clarify this Four of Wands, show me the energy behind the Four of Wands, what is going on with the possible outcome, now remember the possible outcome is always up to you, bam! the moon it's the ending of a cycle guys whatever it is that you have going on with this person whoever this person represents for you this overly nostalgic thing this wanting to be a family but it's not working out the establishment isn't happening because there's new energy coming in it's telling you beware and caution because some ain't right 
okay? The moon is out to play, Bobby Boucher. So you need to be careful, baby. That is just not the only way to be going. There's other ways to go. The moon is giving you the warning. It is telling you, watch out now. Possibly around the full moon, some stuff is going to pop off for you. You're going to realize that you want to be in a different relationship, whether it's by yourself or with somebody else, because the monogamous part is really sticking out for me. The spirit of fire is coming in. It's taking things to another level. It's burning things down. Old habits old habits right here gotta go and that's what the moon is highlighting for you all right with that being said i want to go ahead and jump into your oracle read this is at a at a shiga, okay and the energy focus of this is ignition and it's from baku Azerbaijan. I don't know how to say these words, guys. I'm trying my bestest. But this is like, for me, this is Shamash. This is the sun god, okay? Which is really cool. But the lower part, this is like the lower part right here. This is mid and this is the upper. The lower is your past and this is what's going on. This is like what the situation is about. You are called to the land of the sacred fire of Azerbaijan. Okay, I can't even say the words. So this is, um, do you envision a sword of hell associating fire with destruction or do you see fire's cleansing power making space for new life fire has been honored as sacred by many cultures and in truth flames are healing the symbol in the card represents a divine spark and everlasting life have you created a personal hell that needs the transformational power of fire look within the flames and let them show you what to do so basically i kind of feel like we need to throw some dirt on that fire <laughs> <laughs> and cool that stuff off all right now in the middle world which is the present and you'll see the little building right there what of your divine spark does the fire of your youth still burn strongly are you shining brightly or has someone extinguished your light okay are you content with what has happened to you first offers fire spiritual insight fire offers spiritual insight it fuels our convictions it is passion Ask yourself now who or what has snuffed out your spark and why. And it's possibly the emperor with the overly nostalgic relationship that you're not feeling very grounded on and the moon is going to highlight it. Okay. Know that your fire in your heart can never really go out. From today, rekindle your fire and love starting with yourself. So love yourself first, Leo. That's what the cardinal's telling you too. You come first. Now the upper world right here, here is the symbol of the winged Zoroastrian, the religion of the ancient Persian Empire based on good thoughts, good words, and good deeds. Now this is telling you to take steps towards building up your inner fire. Learn to fire walk. I ain't gonna do that. That's kind of scary. Perhaps, or just spend time with fire, letting the naked flame speak to your own light. Allow no one and nothing, neither word nor deed, to extinguish your flame. You have the right to burn brightly. So that's basically what I'm getting for you, Leo. And that actually goes with uh, Elder. You are the light. You are the one who's going to lead the way. I kind of feel like you have to reignite in the past. That's why you have the three of arrows. In the present, you're the queen of wands. And in the future, you're the sun god. You're going to burn bright for all to see. The thing is, you're the one who's going to make the choice. You're no longer going to be torn apart. You're ready to make the decision. And I kind of feel like for many, you're going to go with the earth sign as opposed to the other, the fire fire. All right. So guys, with that being said, big hugs, lots of love, Leo, wishing you nothing but a super sexy Valentine's Day. And if you're interested in the Sweetheart Special, look it up. The information is in the description box. It's $15. You get a love read and a self-love read also. So big hugs, lots of love, and have a blessed month.